Hello, you fellow musicians and gamers out there. This is Quantic Gamer here, and I am here back once again. It's time to get insane with the Insane Trilogy, and Crash is like, oh, terrible. When are you going to start? Yeah, I know. It's been such a long time. I know it has, guys, and I do apologize for that. And the reason why is because I've been away in Germany on holiday, and I've really enjoyed that, and I'm really revitalized and refocused to do it again, to record again, and other things like work and everything. So, I'm going to start off with Tomb Raider in Warping 4. And the reason why, you might be wondering why you're starting in level 20 when you could be starting in level 16 to do it in numerical order, because normally I do the levels in numerical order. But the reason why I'm not doing numerical order is because the blue gem is on this level, and the blue gem is important for a Sphinx in the air, which is level 16. Now, I know that this level, when they first revealed Crash Bandicoot 3, this was basically the level that they showed off here, Tomb Raider. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the finished product looks like. Now, initially, my thoughts were like, okay, right, so the, the water looks like it's disappeared. That's what I thought originally when I saw the level, but that's still what I think of like what it looks like like that. It looks like it's really shallow, extremely shallow water, so it's very detailed. And then it goes to very deep water like that. Okay, right. Run. Okay. Run. Oh, thank God for that. Right, okay. I nearly screwed up there. Right, there we go. Slide past you. Or get rid of you either way. Right, so let's go in the bonus round. Now, I'm not sure if... You see, my memory crash panic is starting to fade away from me. I'm not sure if you can get all boxes in Tomb Raider or not. I'm pretty sure you can. So, I just need to do this first. Oh, I may have screwed it up, haven't I? Yep, I screwed up. Of course I did. Yeah, I think I realized what I need to do here. So luckily that doesn't count as an actual death in the bonus round. So I know what I need to do now here. I need to basically don't hit that yet. What I need to do is jump over that and miss the box. Excellent. I'm already failing in the bonus round of Tomb Raider, and, and there's still four more levels to go. This is just getting amazing, isn't it? <laughs> but no, basically, Germany was really good. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I think I deserved that holiday. Like, it was a long time coming, I think. Because, I mean, like, I hadn't taken a holiday from work in about three months. So I thought, you know what? Now that I learned my lesson from last time, when I hadn't taken a holiday of work for several months, so about eight months, I was thinking to myself, right, okay, let's book holidays a lot more in advance. Right, okay, and there we go. Two, three, four... There we go, right, that's it. Now, if I remember correctly, there is... There are TNT and Nitros here. So what I want to do is double jump. I think I was being an idiot there the first time I did that bonus round because I completely forgot I had double jump and uh, the Death Tornado spin. Whoa, that was quite a close one. I always remember in the original, I always used to never make our closest boxes. But I'm glad I did now. So, it's a lot easier actually now to use the Death Tornado Spin as it was in the in the original, actually. I mean, in my opinion, at the very least. Uh, that's my first impression of the Death Tornado Spin, anyway. Alright, I've got 41 lives. Right, okay, and it's going to fill up the water again, so I've got to make sure I don't die. go. Get an alchemy mask. It's going to be helpful. I'm actually glad they, think they um, updated the sound on that uh, scorpion or that beetle because it sounded like in the original, it sounded like, a, like, a, like it did sound like a fly buzzing, don't get me wrong, but in this one they've actually changed it. Oh my god. I cannot believe I lost my alchemy mask that early. Right, I need to be careful now. Do you know what? get those boxes and go back up, because I have a feeling that it's going to rise again. I don't want to take any risks here. I do want to get this blue gem on my first try here. Right, jump, slide. Come on. Oh my god, okay, I nearly, I nearly fell off that platform there. Okay, right, go, go, go. There it is, death platform. Right, let's jump on this death platform and let's get that blue gem. Oh, and I got a trophy. Not a scratch. Give it time. Give it time. Yep, yeah, there will be a scratch indeed. I mean, well, there was already, uh, there was already a, a scratch already in one of the early levels, but I digress. 
Right, there we go. That was kind of risky what I did there, like, for double jumping across the nitros when the water was risen above. Right, okay. Oh my goodness, I know I screwed up the jumping yet again. Ah, no. Right, slide jump on there, there we go. That was quite close. Okay, just keep going through this. But yeah, I'm back and better than ever, guys, when it comes to YouTube. And uh, I'll talk more about all about this in an update video that will have been uploaded before this. So I've talked about everything already, so... But it's just a matter of just, just focusing on the game there and the Insane Trilogy. Whoa, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, that was quite a close one. I actually thought I wasn't going to make that. Oh, and I think I made it. Yep, there it is. My precious. My be My precious. My baby blue, come here. But we're not going to end the level just yet. Because, now that I've got the blue gem, I don't need to worry about the death path anymore. I can die as many times as I want now. Not that I want to, but I can die as many times as I want to now. And I can get that box gem and the crystal if I want uh, uh, as much as I want now. And I can die as many times as I like. And hopefully I get up to 99 lives as well when I reach Warp Room 5. Although that being said, I highly doubt that's going to happen because I did die quite a few times in some of the levels in Warp Room 3, I think. So, I don't think that's going to happen now. They, I think they purposely made it difficult to get 99 lives in this, and I like that. You see, I didn't want it to be just as easy as the originals. You see, I know a lot of people are complaining, saying, oh, it's not the original because it's too difficult in terms of controls. Well, I like that, personally, because even though, okay, maybe there are some parts of this game that could have been maybe better developed, I still think, from my point of view, that the controls for this are a little bit different, but it, you do get used to it after a while. And I think the reason why people are complaining about it is because it's not the original. Oh, God, okay. Right, just get up there right now. Yeah, so... That's the reason why people are complaining about it, and I honestly feel, from my point of view, that I like the challenge in these remakes because, I mean, I didn't, as I said, I didn't want it to be just as easy as the original, or even easier, because that would have been a big disappointment, in my opinion. And, I'm an idiot, I should have used Death Tornado Spin, but hey, it doesn't matter. As I said, I can die as many times as I want now, because now that I've got the blue gem, I don't need to worry about another death path. So, I don't know why I didn't use the Death Tornado Spin when going over those nitros, and for some reason I ended up going past that guy with the shield. Oh no, no! Okay, good. Right. For some reason I ended up going past that guy with the shield. I thought I slid into him, but I think I just sort of went, just barely got past him, I think. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? Hopefully this time I will not screw up. Right, there we go. Death to another spin. Good god, I need to remember to keep using that. There we go. Again, I'm going to wait because I don't want to uh, take any risks. It seems like I'm being a lot more riskier in the remakes than I am in the originals. Probably because I don't know what to expect. Alright, there we go. Well, I must say the Egyptian levels look very impressive in terms of the design in, in these remakes. They look so impressive. I remember actually, well, attempting to play a fan remake of the Egyptian levels in Crash Bandicoot 3, and I'm pretty sure uh, all of you are watching this, who are big Crash Bandicoot fans, will know what I'm talking about. It's like it was like a, a fan remake before the uh, the Crash Bandicoot, or just after the Crash Bandicoot remakes were announced for a PS4, and basically I think it was so I think it was just like a playable level of the of not only this level but I believe the uh, future level as well, Future Frenzy. I think that's what how it was anyway, and I tried playing on my computer, but my computer was just saying, nope, too much for me to handle, oh, it's just going to go so slow, I'm going to lag so much. That's basically what my computer was telling me. <laughs> but yeah, this computer I've got right now that I'm recording Audacity with, it's done quite well so far. I mean, I've had it since May 2013, since my 20th birthday, and it's been, I mean, I've had it for four, nearly four and a half years now, and it's going quite well. It's still going quite well, but at some point next year, probably, I'm going to have to replace it because I'm not going to be able to compete, keep that for five years. I let Crash do his victory dance because why not? He deserves it. Right, so I'm going to go into Future Frenzy next. Now, I'm not going to be able to get either gem for this level because I need to get the green gem 
from Gone Tomorrow, and I also need to uh, access the box gem via the secret route. So basically, I'm not going to be doing the bonus round in this, and I'm not going to be getting the secret gem either. So it's just the crystal I'm going to be collecting in this. But the future... Oh, wow. The future levels look so amazing. So well done. The future is here, folks. And I mean that literally because, uh, you know, me playing a future level here. Okay, right, that was close. I actually thought that TNT was going to explode there. But honestly, if they ever remake Crash Bash and they use this level design, that would actually be really amazing. If you ask me, anyway. And the music, I'm just listening to the music right now. Really sounds very good if you ask me so far. Oh damn, okay right, that was my bad. I thought I could spin that guy, but apparently not. I spun him at the wrong time, he ended up uh, lighting up and I didn't quite see it. Now they've actually made, I've also noticed as well, those laser gates. They made them a bit harder in terms of timing because in the original it was obvious when they were going to light up. Because they would do some sort of like, you know, animation where it would, uh, it's about to burst and then it bursts out the laser afterwards. This time it doesn't do that, it's very subtle, the movements of the laser. Which means you have to time it out very carefully. And I like that. You see, that's why I like the remakes, because it means that it's not going to be that easy for you to play. It gives a real big challenge in my opinion. Alright, there we go. Alright, now let's be careful of this guy. Wait for him. There we go. That's it. Alright, now we've got these steel crates. Just body slam them. But I'm looking forward to the future of Crash Bandicoot after this. I mean, what, what will be next in store for Crash Bandicoot? Who knows? I mean, a lot of fans are asking for the Crash Team Racing uh, game to be remastered as well. I mean, that'd be pretty cool and all, but I'd like to see more new stuff in the series rather than just remasters. In my opinion, I think that's what a lot of people want as well. Rather than just simply doing remasters all the time, it'd be best to just, you know, focus on new games in the series. Okay, there we go. There we are. Right, that's it. I also thought the uh, jumping... I felt like I didn't exactly properly jump on them there, but okay, maybe I did and I just didn't notice it in my eyes. Or, what could be even better is I've heard rumours about... Uh, the PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale game that I used to do on my channel. I heard rumours that a sequel was in the works, but I'm not believing that for a second until it's actually revealed at... I'm guessing either PlayStation Experience or Paris Games Week. That's when I think it'll be revealed. Okay. Okay, let me wait for this. There we go. Slide under that, there we go. Now luckily this is just a casual stroll through these levels. Like, I'm just casually going through these levels and until I uh, do the time trial size. Do you know what? Use the TNT, just get rid of this enemy using the TNT. There we go. TNT doesn't work for me because of the huge blast radius. And Crash looked like he was adjusting himself to the platform when he got in there. See, that's one of the things that like, it seems like Crash has some OCD when it comes to platforming. Which is very strange. I mean, I've never I've never seen a character have OCD when it comes to platforming. Oh, God damn it. I, again, why am I not using my Death Tornado Spin? I don't know why. It's, it seems like I'm not wanting to use it for some reason. I don't know why. Well, note to self. Use the Death Tornado Spin. Always. Right, there we go. Oh, no, as I said, I'm not going to go to the bonus round because I'm not going to get the box gem, so no point in doing that. So just go through the level normally and get that uh, crystal. There we go. Just slide under the earth. There we go. Get that crystal. Oh. There we go. Just get some more one per three while we're at it. I know I'm missing a lot of boxes, but um, you know you know the deal. Don't need to explain it again. But overall so far, what are my thoughts on the futuristic levels in this game? Well, they're really good in terms of design, if you ask me. They really are. I'm very impressed. Right, there we go. Yeah, I see right there. So, that's it. The Future Frenzy is done for now. So, when I go back to Future Frenzy, I'll be in the 6th Warp Room when I collect a send them in the relics. So, the next level I will be going to shall be Coco's next jet skiing level. Now, hopefully, I will not have as much trouble with this one as I did with the first one because 
I know that when I, uh, yeah, crash is up the crystal again like it's candy. But basically, the Germany trip that I had, I mean, if you want to see the photos of me in Germany, I can... Oh. You will be deleted, 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 deleted. <laughs> really, engine really should be like a Cyberman or something like that. You see, right, before I talk about the delete word, right, um, and this is a bit of a random topic, that, but anyway, all right, so Coco's Jet Ski level, right, let's see. Oh, and again, yeah, the. Do you know what? What if I use the analog stick? Will this make a difference? I hope it does. Okay, it feels somewhat better, but I think I'm gonna have to really slow down. Yeah, I'm going to have to really slow down in this. I must say, I might as well be honest about this. Controls for Coco's Jet Ski levels, I'm not a fan of them. Oh, god damn it! Right, okay. Ran right into that, and I should have stopped. Never mind. But I, I am not a fan of these controls. I mean, they really should have passed these controls up. I mean, I think the controls are a little bit sloppy. If, if I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to give the... Uh, Game some constructive or well no that's not really constructive criticism that's really just being negative but if I don't offer the game some constructive criticism about Coco's controls my suggestion they should have uh, improved the steering a little bit more because in the original Crash Three at least the steering was a little bit linear compared to the remix okay get off the box please thank you. No, I'm just I'm curious actually. Well, that guy, that that pirate who was in the boat the last time, because I remember when first when doing the first warp room of this, when I crashed into one of the pirates in the the rowing boat, he ended up giving me an extra life. And that was when I jumped from a very long height. When I was coming right at him, he was like abandon ship, and he just abandoned the life for me. So I'm wondering if he'll do the same thing again. I hope he does, because uh, that would be very generous of the pirate if he did. And yo ho ho, a pirate's life for me. Yeah, that, that was basically the the title that I had for that part. But so far, I think I can already tell that using analog sticks is a little bit better. I'm not saying it's completely better, it's a little bit better. Oh, god damn it, okay. I'm gonna have to go in here and go back around the island again. Nope. Okay. Oh, avoid, 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 avoid. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, right. Thank god for that. Thank God I avoided that pyro, that's all I can say. Uh, but what was I talking about before the engine cutscene came up? Yeah, basically, if you're curious about my uh, holiday photos to Germany, I mean, I could easily uh, put up some highlights of uh, photos that I uh, took on my trip to let you guys see what I've uh, been through in Germany, like going through uh, Frankfurt, Darmstadt, uh, and also uh, uh, going on like chair lifts cable cars and also going on a boat ride go-karting swimming oh so many fun activities i did in germany oh damn it okay fine never mind it seems like the game doesn't want me to talk about my holidays why not wait did i just get the how did i get that extra life i guess i must have dived deep down or something to get extra life unless the life was up, up higher in the water compared to the original that's what i'm guessing anyway Oh, okay, right, yeah, do you know what, let's be careful here, because I've not got a checkpoint in a while, and I don't want to die here, so... I really hope I don't die here, because if I do, then I'm not going to be happy, right? Shark. You're not getting me here. Shark. Right, cannons. No! No! Damn it! Well, I'm going to be sent all the way back, aren't I? Yep. Oh, I'm back quite a bit. Yep, I knew it. Okay, well, not that far back. But still, though, I mean, that was a pretty steep price I had to pay for dying there. But if you're curious about my photos to Germany, I mean, like, uh, for those who, who have got me on Facebook, like, you know, my YouTube friends have got me on Facebook, uh, you'll, you'll see the full album right there on uh, what I went through in Germany. So, and I nearly forgot about that box there. I, I, was, I, I used my intuition and thought to myself, right, there was a box back there. Yes, there was indeed. So, 
managed to get that one and we'll carry on forward and hopefully I will not get shot by a cannon once again. Seems like the, the cannonballs, I'm not, uh, actually no, no I'm not going to say it again because that's boring for me to say that. Oh my god, how did I avoid that? How did I avoid, wait, was that pilot sleeping on the job with the, with that chain there? Because it looked like he just appeared there. Sleeping on the job, I see, pirates. Well, Cortex is not going to be very pleased about it. How am I missing that crystal? Come on. And what? No, no, no. Come on. Get that crystal, please. I'm going through the crystal. All right, thank you. Good God. Yeah, I went through the crystal there. That's a glitch. You see, this is why I honestly think, even though I like these remakes, I would have liked them even more if the game was patched up a little bit more. Right, finally a checkpoint. Right, so, basically, I'm getting off track of what I'm talking about here. Yeah, that delete chant I was talking about, I know that a lot of uh, TNA fans or WWE fans who refer to Matt Hardy, like, chant the delete chant. Well, let me tell you something. Oh, crap. And Sharks must be a fan of Matt Hardy because I'm about to criticize Matt Hardy's delete chant. Basically, it's not original from my point of view. Because, with Matt Hardy said, you must be deleted. It's basically, I think they stole that from Doctor Who from my point of view, because that's what the Cybermen, the Cybermen say in Doctor Who. That you'll be, well, well, Matt Hardy doesn't say you'll be upgraded, but basically, he says you must be deleted if he doesn't like something. Wait, I must fight boxes? Where? Where did I miss five boxes? Hang on, I'm going to go back and I'm going to find them. That's ridiculous. I, there should have been five bo I should have broken all the boxes. Unless if I missed somewhere, I probably have, haven't I? Let me just go back and check and go away from like here. Right, let's start with the ramp first. Right, there we go. Another life is mine, but I need to be careful here. There we go. There we go. Stop. Careful of those cannons. Right, there we go, right. Okay, now let's get back to the end, hopefully in one piece. I really hope I can. If I can get back to the end in one piece, I can... I will be very happy. Right. Okay, don't hit the shark. Don't hit any of those cannons, either. Please. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, good, 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 good. Right. No! Oh my god. She was... Okay. Axes, swinging chains, swinging boats, swinging bombs, swinging it on downtown, everything and all that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I know, I'm being totally random. I get that like that sometimes when I'm not actually showing off the video. Hey, I don't know, maybe I should show it off actually. Oh my god, right, okay. Please do not hit any bombs. Do not hit any bombs, because I'm swearing on God's green earth. Do not hit any bombs. Do not hit the shark either. Right, there we go. Let's be very, very careful here. Right, all boxes collected right now. Just need to not die. Jeez, okay, right, I nearly died there. Right, box gem is mine. Right, okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, thank God for that. Right, okay. That was quite tense on what I had to go through there. I did manage to get all the boxes in one try, despite the failure that I had to get in the boxes. So, m should I leave it in... Well, I'll, I'll decide on that. I'll decide on that. Since it was one attempt, I'll need to check the commentary and see if it was entertaining enough. If it wasn't necessary, I'll just cut it out. But anyway, now that we are done with Tell No Tales, we are going to be heading into the next level. And I like Coco Dura Dance because she deserves it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, but it's not over yet, Coco. So, the. Now, next up is the plane level, which is Bye Bye Blimps. Now, this will be the first time I'm playing the uh, the biplane levels in the Insane Trilogy, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Invert your vehicle controls in the options menu. Well, we'll see what the control options are like. Shoot down the blimps. Okay, it's giving me the objective. Oh, hi, Coco. Nice to see you. How are you doing up there? Great. Okay, right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. Do you know what? 
Yeah, I'm gonna invert these controls, yeah, because uh, I want it to be just like the original. Okay, right, I'm already taking a lot of hits already. That's no good, right? Okay, I need to really be careful here. Oh, I like how the, the first aid actually like has a green field around you while you do that. Okay, right, yeah, I need to really spin around a lot more often. Oh, wow, the blimp really just blows itself apart. <laughs> well, of course it does. I mean, why wouldn't it? But at the same time, it's like, wow. I was about to say, why am I not getting the Wumper Fruit? But yeah, there it is. Sometimes the Wumper Fruit can be a little bit delayed, depending on where you're hitting stuff. Alright, that's that one. How many more boxes do I need? I need three more boxes. I'm wanting to get at least the box gem first before I shoot down all these blimps. That's what I did in the original, and that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, there's another one over there, but that's the first aid balloon, and I won't be needing that. There we go. Right, get that first aid balloon. There we go. Right, not full health, but still, I'm getting there. The last box is over there. Can I shoot down from a long distance over here? No, not yet, anyway. Well, so far I'm very impressed with the controls. The controls are very tight on this, like which are, which is really good, right? Box gem I've now got. Now it's just a matter of shooting down the rest of these blimps. All right, now that I'm in clear view of it, I should be able to shoot down now. That's it. All right. Oh no. Right. Okay. Shoot down the last blimp. There we go. Crystal is mine as well. Well, so far I am very impressed with the playing levels. Now, Coco's one was pretty easy. I mean, it was really easy in the original. It's just as easy as it was here in the remake. Now, I know that Crash's one is a lot more challenging in Warpoint 5. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how that one goes. Hopefully, I will not have as too much trouble in, in Mad Bombers as I did in the original. Because I remember the original being a bit of a nightmare. But not too bad. Right, and that's the gem collected. Okay, and we've seen Coco do a dance, so let's go back to Crash. So, let's go into the final level, which is Sphinx in the Air. So I got two gems on this. I got the box gem, and we got the clear gem from the blue gem path. Because now I've got the blue gem, I can access that path, and I can now get the, the clear gem from the blue gem path. Okay, so now, classic trick back here. There are two boxes at the back. I also remember, like, uh, when I played this when I was younger, I was thinking to myself, wait, where did I miss four boxes? And I was like, and I thought to myself, ah, that's where I missed them. Okay, let's jump over here, because I believe there, yeah, there'll be boxes over here. Oh, right, okay, that's good. There we go, mummies. Go away, mummies, your mummy's calling you. Your robot mummies are calling, calling you. <laughs> I don't know why I got that joke from Scooby-Doo for some reason. Wait, what's... Is that him into the bonus round? There's no way. Okay. That was, that was kind of confusing, actually. I didn't actually think that would take me to... Like, I thought that was actually taking me to the bonus round because of the way the, the platform was like... No, I need to backtrack here because... And I just remember there were no boxes on that left path except for nitros. we go. Oh, let's get that mummy. There we go. Let's keep going back. There we go. Yeah, Crash is just trying to dance to the music. Well, not very poorly. I'm dancing to the music here. I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. Right, okay. Let's now carry on forward for the rest of the level. Now, hopefully I can get both gems in this as well, so that way I don't have to backtrack for both of them either. There we go. Now let's avoid those spears. Okay, let's wait for the door to open. There we go. Right, now. Okay, right. Okay, thank God for that. I actually thought I was going to hit that there. Oh, it's a bonus right now here. Oh, okay, maybe it's layered on then. I thought it was early on here, but no. I'm thinking the tomb time. So Sphinx and Nightmare is not all, but layered on. 
Oh, okay, right, I need to really be careful here. Do you know what? Instead of doing that, let's just double jump and do this. Avoid the spotlights by doing that. Because I've got the superpowers now, it'll be a lot easier to avoid them. Just let the blocks explode the nitrous here, that way I've got a clear path. Right, there we go. Now I can still operate that lever like I did in the original, which is pretty amazing that they've added that touch in. Because I, I remember like when I when playing this again when I was younger, I I, I know I sound like I sound like an elderly citizen telling his tales. You know when I was your age, I used to do this. Okay, let's get back from the TNTs here. Now I want to get that extra life at the very least. So, oh, there we go. That's it. Maybe I'm missing someone through there, but I really don't care. I'm not going on that blue gem path yet because I want to get the rest of the boxes first. Now, hopefully, there will be a checkpoint quite close to here. What the hell? I was spinning him. Unless the game wanted me to get that trophy. Keeping Crash under wraps. Okay, yeah, I got a trophy for that. I got a trophy for dying to the mummy. It thinks, it thinks that I'm his mummy. Well, newsflash, buddy, I'm not your mummy, so go away. Stop hugging me. <laughs> However, I am thankful that I got the trophy for that, so I wasn't expecting that. But, no, honestly, I thought I spun him, but apparently it didn't count. Not sure why, but hey, if it gets me the trophy, then I'm not going to complain about that. There we go. Right, now let's, this time let's check. There we go, that's it. Not sure what happened there, but hey, uh, uh, as I said, I got the trophy, so I'm not going to... Yeah, okay, wait, enough. Enough, yeah. I keep repeating myself quite a lot, and that's why my commentary is a little bit off-putting sometimes, because I end up repeating myself quite... Oh, damn! I keep forgetting... Ah. Oh. I actually forgot there were two blocks falling there, and they were right there before my very eyes as well. Oh, God! Well, this is... This is not going very well so far, is it? <laughs> All right. Come on, doors, thank you. There we go. There we are. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so basically, what else do I want to talk about here? We were in the end of Warp Room 4, and all I can say, all I can say is it's been somewhat smooth run. Okay, there we go. Thank goodness for that. Right, okay, checkpoint is right there, so it's not too far away. I actually thought that roll one through there was a snake, and I thought to myself, wait, why is there a snake this long on the, the platform? But no, it's just one fruit. Unless if it's a one fruit snake. Okay, right. Spin behind them. There we go. That's the safest way to deal with those guys, in my opinion. Right, crystal is collected, and now it's going the bonus path. Okay, the bonus theme once again. The very catchy one, if you ask me. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to sell the TNT here, because that's just asking for a death wish. Plus, I'll need that Arkham Mask if I want to backtrack as well. Well, actually, no. To be fair, no, I don't. Let's go back here, actually. Did that TNT crate, or did all the crate... Okay, they did, yeah. Yeah, okay, right. And um, it's just I always remember in the original, sometimes the crates did not go off after I walked past them. Oh, crap, I'm not going to get that life now, aren't I? Yep, there goes the life. Damn it. Oh, well, not that it matters. I mean, I've got plenty of lives to spare anyway, but it's just I want to get that 99 lives trophy. Can't wait for that TNT to go off. There we go. And body slam. Right. Bonus round is finished. Yeah, well, okay, well, I'm not going to get another life, but that's fine. Not to worry. I'll easily get another one out of the one through here. Wait, did I hit an enemy into the boxes there? There must have been a box there. Oh, there goes the mummy falling down the hole. Great attention to the detail there, because I always remember when you spun that, uh, spun the the coffin or the mummy's uh, case, that 
another mummy would always fall down the hole. And I'm wanting to jump on this monkey to get an extra life out of him. I know animal cruelty is best, but that's a done. But hey, the animal was being cruel to me. I'm an animal, so might as well return the favour. Animal cruelty against animal cruelty. <laughs> oh god, okay, that was close. Right, there we go. Now I should get the box gem for it now. Right, good. And now, what I'm going to do is I am going to... Should I die here or should I backtrack? Do you know, let's backtrack. Let's be a man here and actually take do it the proper way. Let's do it the real way. Let's not be a coward and die. Go straight back to the checkpoint. There we go. Down the stairs and we go back again. Now, what was back here? There you have the guy with the blowtorch, wasn't it? Right, now I can go back. Just so I can go in that blue gem path and get that clear gem. Because on that gem path, if I remember correctly, you can get a checkpoint there anyway, a steel crate checkpoint. Alright, jump off of that. Now I should be back at the checkpoint. Yeah, here it is. Probably shouldn't have done that, should I? Wait a minute. The... Okay, let's just be careful. Okay, there's a hole there. There we go. Oh god, right, okay, yeah, spears, yeah, I forgot about them. Right. A spear! Spear out of nowhere! We're doing professional wrestling commentary now. Right, there we go. There should be, yeah, there's another one. I had a feeling there would be. Right, there we go, just walk past it. And here we go, blue gem path. There we go, didn't even need to die and go back to the checkpoint, although it would have been quicker, but hey, I decided to be a man and actually backtrack the proper way. Right, here we go. Let's get this checkpoint. Oh, another trophy and the cut above the rest. I'm assuming that's for accessing the gem path. There we go. Can I get this done on one try? Hopefully. Oh, well, that may not happen now, because I ended up losing a mask right from the very get-go. Right, get that checkpoint. No, no, no. Go back, back. There we go. Oh, damn. Okay, right, yeah, that, I messed up that jump. Mess up that jump big time. Right, let's try it again. Oh, oh god, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not doing it my first try because I died twice already on this path now. Oh, extra life, extra life! Oh no, 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 ah! I wanted to get that extra life, come on. There we go, yes, that's it. Right, no. Come on, open the door. Yes, there we go. Oh, there was a snake right there. Oh, you sneaky sons of... Sons of so-and-sos. Good God, I did not expect the snake to be right at the end there. Thank God I saw that at the last second. I just jumped on it. <laughs> Imagine if I ended up not knowing about that and ended up dying. That would have been quite bad. All right, anyway, I'm at 40 minutes now. I'm near about the end of my recording limit, actually, on the PS4. I've got 20 minutes left, or 19 minutes left. So now, engine is the only boss left to face, thankfully. Okay, let's get these gems for up crash, come on. Hey, I'm just going to skip your dance at the moment because I'm on the face-off against Engine here. And again, Coco's coming into play here to face off against Engine. So, <laughs> you want to go a few rounds? When this is over, we'll see who is obsolete. We shall see indeed, Engine. We shall see. Alright, Engine. Uh, dodging keeps you safe, but makes it harder to aim. Now, I remember this boss being really good in the original. I'm, I'm really hoping it's just as good as it, as it is in the remake. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got a brief cutscene to show up uh, Engine with his machines there. Now, is it going to be harder? Is it going to be more challenging than it was in the original? Uh, I hope it is, because I don't want it to be just as easy. Let's be careful here. Oh no, it's showing the detail the way the part's been damaged. I quite like that. Ah, right, there goes one arm. I always remember them being easy to destroy in the original. They're just as easy as they are here. Because they're just as exposed as they are. Right, okay. Right, how can I not go down? Okay, right, fine. No, I'll take the hit. I guess I go up to avoid that now? Okay, I, that's new. Just 
keep that X button held down. Okay, there we go. Right, okay, I took a bit of damage there, but that's fine. Come on, engine, you pansy. Stop firing those missiles at me and fight me like a real man. Okay, that was random. I don't know why I just said that. Okay, that was kind of random, but anyway. But I like the moon here. The moon detail is so perfect. Right, first phase is completed. Not too bad. Right, it's time for the second phase. It's not over yet, folks. Now, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we got a little custom computer joining us. Nice. See, that's really good. That's, I quite like that attention to detail there. Oh, and now we've got double lasers. Oh, I hate this. Alright, come on. Explode, please. Alright, thank you. Alright, there we go. That's that one destroyed. I always remember that being an absolute pain in the backside to try and deal with. Alright, that's that one destroyed. Just destroys force fields. The missiles are easy to deal with because they'll fly towards me. I'll just shoot them down anyway. I want to deal with that other side first. Where the, uh, he shoots out the purple beams. Come on. Okay, how did that miss me? It felt like that went through me for some reason. I need to look back at the footage. Okay, there we go. That's one missile kind of part destroyed. Two. Right. That should be the third one. Come on, third one. That's what. Right, last one. And it's done. Easy, boss. Very easy. Mech wrecked again. I didn't hear engine saying, Ah, not again. Oh, I didn't pr press continue on that. Okay, right, fine. Uh, let's go back to the time twister. And I'm surprised there's no cutscene from engine, or sorry, not engine, Cortex and Nuku Uka yet, because normally they talk uh, right after you defeat the engine. Maybe that'll happen now, actually, when it uh, finishes loading. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. <laughs> For this we must destroy you! <coughs> oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will have foiled my plan. Or will you? Well, we'll see. Oh, well, that was, that was kind of weird. <laughs> That's kind of a weird transition. Their crash is standing right there, and Coco just appeared right there afterwards. Right, so. Well, I'm not going to save this just yet, but until the end, guys, uh, that, that was uh, Crash Bandicoot Ancient Trilogy, and I've forgotten what part number it was already, because I've been away for a while, and I've, I, I didn't actually look up to see what part number it was, but you'll find out in the title what part number it is, and I forgot to mention that, so I do apologize for that. So, anyway, um, this was the next part, well this is the part, current part of Crash Bandicoot Ancient Trilogy where I covered Warp Room 4 and Crash Bandicoot 3 and next time when I come back I shall be covering the levels in Warp Room 5. So until then guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, please feel free to like if you enjoyed, comment down below if your thoughts as well on the video and if you're looking forward to seeing more videos up on my channel in the future be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. So until then guys, have a great day wherever you are and I shall speak to you later when I come back with Warp Room 5 of Crash Bandicoot 3 and the Ancient Trilogy. Till then, have a good day and goodbye.